a little different today. Um, I'm going to be doing a My Bargain Box review. Got here a few of the recipes from last week and I'm just kind of going to go over how Bargain Box, box works and what you can expect. Um, the meals I had and my personal opinion on how it went. Um, so let me have a look. So we bought the mini box which is Feeds 2. Um, and that's sixty nine dollars for five for th uh, sixty nine dollars for three meals if you wanted, but we bought the five meals, so it's eighty nine ninety nine, and then ten dollars for delivery. Um, so yeah, in the end, it's like ninety nine ninety nine. And so when you buy your bargain box, you'll get an email saying yeah your payment's gone through rah rah. And then you'll get an email saying kitchen staples for your meals coming this week. So things you should, pantry staples, kitchen staples, whatever. Um, things you should have in your cupboard. So like for an example, here's an email um, and it says uh, next week's pantry staples. Butter, egg, flour, foil, mayo, milk, mustard, olive oil, salt, soy sauce, stock, sugar, sweet chilli, tomato sauce, vinegar and optional garlic or mustard whole grain. Um, so yeah, there's also ingredients on there that are optional so you don't actually have to get those. Um, so yeah, I'll show you what we got last week and then I'm going to open up um, our bargain box for this week so I'm really excited. So I felt like when I first got my bargain box for $89.99 we got, that's five meals, so that's five dinners for us, um, lots of meat and lots of veggies. In comparison to us going to the supermarket, my only thing would be, um, yes, the portion size of meat's bigger when we go to the supermarket, um, but we don't buy that much veggies, and we don't have that many veggies in our diet, so I felt like it was a really good way to stock up on some veggies, learn some new ideas since I'm not much of a cook, and get some more, like, kitchen staples, like, you know, the food you always cook, get some new, new recipes, new ideas, um, and yeah, it kind of gets me in the kitchen, which Pedro would be happy about because he cooks every night, <laughs> pretty much. I know, I'm so lucky. Um, so it's getting me in the kitchen and getting me cook. I'm excited to cook. Um, what else? So yeah, in comparison to going to the supermarket, I definitely feel like you get more meat when you go to the supermarket. But usually if you were to buy the same kind of food, it would cost more in the end because you'd get, like say, a whole bag of carrots instead of say like four carrots. Um, and usually half of that goes to waste anyway, like, I know when we buy veggies, like, I'll buy some broccoli or some carrots or whatever, they get put in the fridge, you use them for, like, one meal and then they get wasted. So this way there's literally, like, no waste. Um, also there could be leftovers for the next day for lunch if you don't eat all your dinner. Like, me and Peds, we eat a lot, so we just, like, demolish our meals. Anyway, so back into it, I'll show you last week's meals. Just play some music. So last week we, it comes with little um, recipes like this, with little holes in the side so you could like make a little book from it. Um, last week we had honey soy chicken, I'm pretty sure that was Monday's meal. Um, so it says everything like ready in 40 minutes, prep time 10 minutes, cook time 30 minutes. Um, it has all your main parts, so the honey soy chicken, which had a coconut and spinach, spinach rice salad, um, and then a sesame veg. So it was cauliflower, so chicken breast, a teaspoon of oil, honey and soy sauce for the chicken itself, and then one cup of jasmine rice, half a can of coconut cream, one cup, three teaspoons water, teaspoon salt, a quarter, of a te quarter teaspoon salt, um, baby bag of spinach, roughly chopped, and sesame veg was a uh, quarter head cauliflower um, and half a red onion, 10 sesame seeds. So then it has like your method and you literally just follow it. I mean, it is kind of a lot, like most of the meals there's like a lot of things you need to do and you kind of got to make sure you read the whole thing first otherwise it can get a bit confusing. Um, it also has like how much energy, how many carbs, how many proteins, how many fats, nutrition based on three servings. So that's really good for anyone that's like really, really conscious with what they're putting in their body, say if you were like, I don't know, just like a bodybuilder or like whatever, it does have um, the nutrition facts, which is really good because then you know what you're eating, literally, you know everything that's going in. Um, so anyway, we had honey soy, the next night we had Moroccan lamb, that was probably one of my favourites actually, it was really good, with a couscous side salad with broccoli and pumpkin, that was really nice. Uh, then we had sweet and sour chicken. 
Peds cooked this one and it was a little bit like, oh, like couldn't really be bothered. There was quite a lot to, that went into it, like putting, I'm pretty sure he had to put like um, flour and then he had to like the, dip the chicken in some milk or something and then into that and then he had to fry the chicken. Like there was a little bit of an effort that went into that meal, but yeah, it was really good. It tasted perfect. And I even ate my peas with that one. Then it was nice because as the week got on, it got a little bit easier. So like when it's getting close to, I don't know, the end of the week, the weekend, you're feeling tired, like some of the meals get a little more basic. So like rump steak with mushroom sauce, that was really good. And it was like, we learned how to make a mushroom sauce, which was really easy. Um, and yeah, so like it's got everything you need, the method, also the energy, the carbs, proteins, fats, and all the nutritional information. And then we had beef and lentil burgers which I tried to prep and they weren't that great. Well, no, they, were, they, they tasted good, but I always burned my patties because I made them too thick. I also burnt my rice at the start of the week. But whatever, I'm learning. Okay, so should we jump into this week's bargain box, see what meals we've got? Um, so it literally gets delivered to your door. So a lady in a little red van turns up and I'm like, yeah, bargain box is here. Um, so ooh, this is what it looks like. Bargain box mini and the ones at the bottom of the stuff that needs to be frozen. Oh, bit of a workout for me. Anyway, grab my scissors. Um, so yeah, deliver to your door. You don't even have to go to the supermarket. No, you do still probably have to go to the supermarket to get your like lunch food and the kitchen staples, um, obviously. But it's just like so easy. You do it all online. And if you're wondering, I don't think there's there's no contracts or anything like that. You can also pause your orders. So we did it last week. We're doing it this week. And then I'm going to Rotorua, Rarotonga. So we've paused it for the period of time where I'm not here. And then we'll probably start up again when I'm back. Um, but yeah, Peds can't be bothered and it doesn't come in a one person one. And this one's definitely like similar to my food bag. It's actually bought to you from my food bag. It's just a cheaper version um, and a little bit less fancy. But I mean, it does us fine. So, okay. So in the first box, I'll just grab out everything and show you. We have some spinach. I love spinach. Eh? Oh, when I used to prep and I used to have it for breakfast. And like most of my meals, I used to like live on spinach. Have to admit, I went off it for so long. And uh, what are these? Lebanese bread, uh, wheat meal. Yum, they look really good. Feel nice and fresh. Also get you like using ingredients or trying new things, which I really like. I'm all about that. Thin and crispy pizza base. Oh, is that when we're having pizzas this week? It's cute, it all like got bargain box on there and stuff. Uh, instant lasagna sheets. Getting to the veggies. Uh, cabbage half. Red cabbage half. <laughs> Little bag of spuds. Gotta get your potatoes in ya. Billable potatoes. This week's menus, we'll go through that shortly. Uh, what some cans, Italian chopped tomatoes, tomato paste, Italian chopped tomatoes, an orange, mmm, orange in my dinner, celery half, an onion, a lemon, got some fruit going on, I love it, lemons are my favourite fruit, like legit, I love sour stuff. Bargain box potato spice mix, lamb spice mix, herb spice mix, and I actually know the meals ahead of time. They email you this week's meals coming, but um, I'm quite excited because I kind of forgot. Dried Italian herbs, red onions, a cucumber, a tomato, tomato paste, and some carrots. I love carrots. Oh, and chicken kebab spice mix. I think we're having kebabs. You know, I'll just pop that all back in and then I'll show you what's in the chilled box. So yeah, if you're thinking about doing it, honestly, I just say go for it. Like, at least try it. And if you don't like it, then well, don't order it again. 
but yeah like so many people keen to try it but they're not 100% sure I'm like go for it like if you're anything like me and you're not a big cook it'll get you in the kitchen it gives you everything you need there's no thought in it you don't have to spend Sunday walking around the supermarket being like I want to eat something different but I don't know how to cook like it's telling you what to cook and it is awesome like I love the meals so, now this is the other box these recycle it says this is the frozen stuff so it comes with these little ice sheets which are handy keep those in the freezer for summer or whatever um now this is what you, this is where you'll see the portion size of meat and think is that really enough for two but if you think about it all the meals are designed that yeah there's not as much meat as possibly what you're used to eating but there's a side like two side salads or like like there's lots of veggies to make up for the fact that you're you're eating a little bit less meat than probably usual but to be honest it looks like the meat is enough like it's actually what you should eat like when you do the whole you should eat whatever the size of your palm it's kind of like that so here's the chicken so that's three silver oh my gosh it's fish here's the chicken no this is fish so here's the fish silver wah wahoo fillets oh my gosh i seriously need to learn to read <laughs> um gisborne sweet corn yum better than peas um, free range chicken thigh boneless skinless chicken um, so it has like the uh, packed on date the 23rd of the 8th used by the 31st of the 8th um, product of my food bag blah 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 bargain box um, that's pretty pretty decent size for two people because there will be lots of other stuff with that Oh, it's all free range too, so that's awesome. Like you don't have to go to the supermarket and be like, am I buying free range? Because it is free range. Um, some Meadow Fresh Cream. Some mild cheddar cheese. Beef diced. Beef mince. lamb mints all natural plain unsweetened yogurt feta and cheese and hummus their hummus is awesome i had some last week it's so good um so that's all the meat um now we'll read you the meals for the week so you know what i'm having for dinner I'm just sitting on the floor because the lighting looks good over here by the way and I couldn't be bothered moving my desk so your recipes this week Monday we're having pan fried fish yum that sounds so good I love fish when I prep I eat heaps of fish like I just live on fish um, chicken kebabs beef lasagna um, Thursday thin and crispy lamb pizza oh my gosh that sounds amazing Friday slow cooked beef stew <laughs> I won't be having that one poor Peds will have to have it all by himself I fly out Friday anyway so you got like a little box here um, of everything you should have been sent so you need to go through and tick off everything um, as you get it Apparently the fam's fave is the chicken kebabs. We like love kebabs. Whenever we go get takeaways, it's usually kebabs. Okay, so Monday's pan fried fish. Um, ready in 30 minutes, prep time, 50 minutes, cook time, 25 minutes. Ooh, roasties and a slaw on the side. That sounds really good. Like the same as last week, it has all your nutritional information here. That looks amazing actually i'm so excited for that um chicken kebabs is tuesday bring it on spice chicken yogurt dressing kebab filling and to assemble i'm pretty sure we know how to make kebabs let's be honest beef lasagna yum i'm looking forward to that i love i love me some carbs uh, meat sauce white sauce to assemble spinach salad yum 
sorry i'm not going to read you absolutely everything like all the method and all that because let's be honest nobody wants to sit here listening to me blabber on about lightly brush pizza bases with a little olive oil and place into the oven on pre preheated trays for three to five minutes like the video would never end but anyway look how good those look they look like Pippi's pizzas if you're from Hawke's Bay you know what I mean Axel's trying to come over here and steal my meat slow cooked beef stew that looks really nice that's the one I won't be having though because I'll be gone I'll be on, on a plane flying to Rarotonga where I'm gonna eat out every night and have cocktails sounds like living the dream I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna have to get my ass to the gym anyway so yeah that's like all the information um oh wow what's this but wait there's more happy cooking happy eating tuck into a brand new recipe book and book let's eat with exclusive ten dollars off from the good folks at Whip Cools, yum. So it's a Nadia Lim's Let's Eat cookbook with $10 off. Cool. Be in to win the ultimate, the ultimate Master Chef Junior experience with Nadia, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so yeah, that's like all the information, all the food. Yeah, pretty much that was like a little review, a rundown. I'm really enjoying it. It's teaching me how to cook, pretty much. Well, I already knew how to cook, but you know, it's teaching me some new skills that, in the kitchen. It's getting me in the kitchen. It's getting me excited. Um, also, I don't have to spend time running around the supermarket being like, what am I going to eat this week? Um, it's also very healthy. Like, I feel really good eating it. And it's really filling. Like, I sometimes don't finish my whole plate. Um, but yeah, like I said, to some people the meat proportions would be probably too little. But it's actually a decent size. Like, it's probably what you should be eating. And if you're eating more, then you're probably a pig. <laughs> nah. It's, but yeah, I'm really happy with it. Um, I think Pedro likes it, but yeah, he eats a lot. So he sometimes he's like, I want my mate. <laughs> but yeah, I'm pretty sure he's enjoying it too. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with it. And I say, go on, go try it. It's awesome. Like, you get a lot of veggies in and you feel good. Anyway, hope you enjoyed my, ba my bargain box review. Please like and subscribe to my channel. And give this a big thumbs up. See you guys.